Mwahaha. Soon, my pretties. There's no replacement for displacement. Oh shit, it's on. You're not meant to see that. Nothing to see here. Well, g'day everybody and welcome to Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Um, so last Sunday, went for a jaunt with the uh, riders of Tasmania. We went for a group ride up to the township of Ross, where they host uh, a historic motorcycle rally every year. And it never ceases to amaze me the calibre and quality of bikes that, that we do have here in Tasmania. So rather than waffle on about it forever, I thought I'd uh, just put together a montage of photographs uh, and let you have a look at it. We had bikes from everywhere. We had bikes from Germany. We had bikes from Italy. We had bikes from America. We had bikes from Japan. We had bikes from England. Uh, so have a look at the photos and then at the end of that uh, I'm going to just spend a little bit of a, a minute or two just uh, taking you through what was my favourite bike of the day. <laughs>
what do you think of that? Three bruff superiors there in Tasmania on a paddock in Ross. I, I just couldn't believe it. Um, and I've always been a bit of a fan of the Vincent too, and uh, that's why this bike absolutely blew me away. And of course, with Phil Irving, uh, the Australian gentleman that was the chief engineer there at Vincent for many, many years, had a hand in the HRD motorcycle design. And um, I couldn't believe this, this sidecar, it was absolutely spectacular. And it had a really cool mechanical injection system on it. It had the pump on run, one side of the motor, and it had, um, you could see all the injection and the pipe work that he had associated with it on the other side of the motor. And when he fired it up, it was just, it, there was kids walking around with their fingers in their ears. It was absolutely brilliant. Now I took a little bit of footage. I didn't have my camera with me, but I did have my phone. Uh, so the quality isn't great, but just sit back and enjoy this for a minute. That impressed me. Um, okay, so that's it for the Ross Motorcycle Show for 2016. Um, if you get an opportunity to come down to Tasmania in November, it's on usually around the same time in the early 20 something of, of November. Um, yeah, get, get along and have a look, cause it's really worth, it's really worth a trip. And you know, I got to uh, spend a bit of time with a mate of mine, Richard, who I don't get to see often enough. And uh, we may have, sort of disappeared to a pub for a while and they just had a generally generally had a really good day. Where else would you rather be Ollie? Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Oh, Cheers dude, I go. nearly sold it. Bet he signed it. Alright, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and comment and we'll be back for more from Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now. Across the country from him to him Trying to find a place to settle down Where my mixed up life with me Held his job on an oil rig Flying choppers when I could But the nightlife nearly drove me round the bend